Hey folks, back again. Just out here pressure washing a few dirty eel nets. That's the clean part. This is the dirty part. You can see where I hit that spot and that spot with the pressure washer. Just trying to this here uh, green snot, I call it. Actually, there's worse stuff than this, but it's it comes off pretty pretty easy. It's the red stuff. That monkey fur. You get a lot of that in your leader. Wow. We spent two hours one day cleaning one night. Look at the geese flying around here. A big flock going there. There's probably about a thousand geese that flew over here in the last hour. Nelson, uh, he's been pointing at them. Driving them nuts. He's in the house having a nap. He's barking non-stop. Anyway. So yeah, there's only about two weeks left in the season, folks, and uh, it's a very bad year so far for the eels. Just like, uh, what is it, October the 9th today, and it's just like summer up here. Plus 20 today, I think the humid X is probably 25. Not a breath of wind. First day we had any wind for a while. Yesterday was windy, and I think the humid X is 28, so we need cold weather or the eels are not going to come in the bays and rivers they're going to stay out in the gulf of st lawrence where the water's cool right so season closes on the 25th so that's you know two weeks away so i don't know unless something magical happens it's not looking good i was planning on buying a portable sawmill with my uh, earnings here but that's dwindling away every day <laughs> doing good to pay the wages and the fuel make a couple dollars myself but uh, what last week we only had 340 pounds right three dollars a pound so I mean that's thousand dollars but time I pay pay out four or five hundred dollars in wages and a few hundred dollars for gas not much left anyway like I said you can't catch eels in this warm weather the season traditionally starts used the season used to start August the 15th but the last five or Eight years, it's been the 22nd, 23rd of August. It's two month season, so if it starts on the 22nd of August, it ends on the 20, the 22nd of October, right? So this year they started on the 26th of October because the, the water was so warm. A pile of geese going. And this camera won't pick them up. Probably here, the leaves are changing. So yeah, anyway, this is, this is the stuff that you have to do, right? You gotta keep your nets clean. This this net's actually pretty clean. I got five nets in back at the Ford Ranger over there that I doubt that the rebar is gonna stand up when I and they've been on the Ranger for two or three days now, covered up, just trying to dry them out. But I doubt this the, I'll probably pull the rebar out here, so anyway, once I uh I always do the leader part first and then uh and then I got to do the net. It's like anything, it's like lobster traps or anything. Once they get dirty, they, huh? Yeah. Once they get dirty, they won't fish. But anyway, that's what the pressure washer for, I guess. They invented the pressure washer for cleaning eel nets. <sighs> Still fun, but it's got to be done, right? So I'm just hitting these real quick because these. Uh, there's three nets in the dory and there's five dirty ones about the truck I'm just doing the three in the dory I got some clean nets that's what a net's supposed to look like right there clean so I gotta reset reset these clean ones tomorrow where I'm taking the dirty ones out right for the in the river so I'm hoping to get a little smash of eels in the river anyway we may get them we may not but that's how fishing goes right so, looks like there's rain coming. It's clouding over, so I gotta get these uh, this net done. And oh, it's only start to finish only take me 15, 20 minutes. With the nozzle I have on the end of that pressure washer, it's 3,000 psi. I've seen the nets that dirty with monkey fur, that red stuff. That's like the whole net right from top to bottom like that. Yeah. Take two hours to do, two hours to do a net in liter. And then uh, a guy, Neil Fisherman over Stanley Bridge there,
stand car, he uh, he had a nozzle to go on the end of my pressure washer, so he said try that. So the next day we uh, we done a net with it that was just as dirty as the one that took two hours and it took us uh, 25, 30 minutes. So it's uh, I went and bought one of this porcelain in them, I guess. I don't know, it was $150, so. But he said don't drop it too hard on the asphalt or anything, so. Anyway, this video is gonna be long and I got pressure washing to do, so. Geese everywhere. That little rough grouse in my last video that I made, he was chasing me there last evening. Chasing me in the Ford Ranger. He's a cocky little bastard. I think the next time you see that rough grouse, it's going to be in a video titled Rough Grouse Soup. <laughs> anyway, not a breath of wind. It's pretty, the leaves are changing. I like when the leaves change color, but I don't like when they blow off and into the east trough of the house. And then they plug everything. And I have to get up on the roof. And I'm scared of heights. So, yeah, I'm just rambling on here. So, lots of mess to clean up around here yet. And stuff like that. So, all right. Have a good one, folks.